Houston. Lauren, thank you. Now to give you a better picture of the supply chain disruption, we wanted to highlight the core issues of what exactly is causing this. ABC Action News reporter Jasmine Stiles spoke to an economist and a transportation industry expert to understand how layered this problem is and why consumers share some of the blame. From the factory to store shelves, there's a lot happening in between to get the items you need. Everything works together uh, to create a big problem. Dr. Axel Stock, who studied supply chain issues for more than 20 years, explains how the pandemic created this mess in the U.S., but starts in Southeast Asia. So there were more extensive shutdowns, which then uh, led to, uh, you know, shutdown of factories. And um, at the same time, uh, we have a situation here that many consumers did not spend as much money last year. So they have uh, a lot of money available now to spend. So there's some pent up demand for products and services. So everybody rushes to the market. Dr. Stock also blames consumer habits. All this demand shifted to, you know, uh, you know, in-house entertainment, you know, you demand for ellipticals and, um, you know, exercise machines. And when we were adding to cart more often than usual, that stretched transportation companies thin. I've never seen it this bad. Brad Ball has been in the trucking industry for 25 years and now leads Roadmaster Driver School. Ball says the truck driver shortage had been an issue prior to the pandemic. There was a gap of about 60,000 drivers. Now it's growing. We have uh, trucking companies calling me every single day, calling our schools every single day, trying to figure out how to hire more drivers. Ball says even with incentives like higher pay and tuition reimbursement, it's hard to find help. I checked Indeed. There's nearly 1,200 open truck driver jobs in Tampa alone. Ball and Dr. Stock have their own views on how we'll fare in the short term and the long term. It's only going to get worse and supply chain problems through the end of the year are, are, are going to be very difficult to get through. You know, history of mankind, uh, we always have solved uh, problems that uh, came towards us. So, and so I want to be optimistic that this will continue to be the case. I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News.